gone through so many challenges. There was first the Taal uh, explosion. January 15, 2020. So March 15, 2020 was COVID, right? right. When Taal erupted, mm. the property was a disaster. So what did you learn from that experience? What What did we learn? Yeah. I think first and foremost, be be calm, <laughs> you know, because uh, you know, and, and 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 you had to focus on on what what needed to be done to get uh, to get past the the situation, no? the difficult situation, um, and 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 really use that time to put your plans together on what you would have to do, what you will have to do to get yourself out of this hole mm. at the soonest possible time, right? Leadership would have had been very important. I mean, what you would communicate to your people Correct. And even it, non-verbally. And it's very easy to say, okay, guys, be patient. Mm. But yeah. then the, the question was, patient for how long? <laughs> yeah. Right? So, I mean, it was, it was a difficult situation, but, but, but you sort of had to keep the, the motivation. Mm. Uh, I yeah. mean, hope. Right. Provide hope that uh, you know we're almost there. We're almost there for everybody. So personally, what did you learn? What did you learn in the pandemic? Personally, well, I learned I learned to to take a step back, mm -hmm. and uh, because obviously all the questions were being thrown my way, <laughs> and you didn't have the answer. And, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could not pass it on to anybody else. Yeah. So, yeah. so I had to I had to take a step back, think about it, and you didn't have to come up with a solution within five minutes immediately yeah. you know I mean think about it because obviously whatever decision I made or the management team made will have an effect on a lot of people you know um, so it wasn't so just about it wasn't just about Anya I mean okay. a AHG manages four go hotels mm -hmm. in Metro Manila mm -hmm. So that in itself is about 400 people. Okay. So. so did you learn to be more introspective? Did yeah, I mean, in, in, in many aspects of my life, it was, it was you know, the business side, the personal side, um, and, 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 and really, it was a, it was a life-changing experience for myself and, and, and for many people, right? Because again, you, you, yeah. were, you were supposed to be the, yeah. <laughs> the right. anchor right. of it all, no? But, uh, oh, you know, we all have our limits. Mm -hmm. And I think self-awareness mm -hmm. is something that was very important as well. Because, uh, you know, again, mm -hmm. you are not the master of the universe. That's what you learn. <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. I came to realize. Yeah. And, uh, and talking to people, opening up, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get uh, ideas mm -hmm. and... and, and uh, was something that I felt worked, you know. Um, also, spending time uh, doing things on my own, like going for long walks and 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 and, and sort of processing uh, certain situations, um, was important. Mm -hmm. I felt help helped me. Um, I got into yoga. Oh, yeah. Maybe also by default because my wife teaches yoga, so. I was like, okay, what am I going to do today, <laughs> right? Um, oh, so it so made, that, that helped. It made you a better person, I'm sure. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> Maybe it did. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel better. Mm -hmm. So, so, okay. so, so that that might be a, an accurate statement.